Mm, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire at All. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode, it's the first episode of not having to fight the Mughals in a really long time and it's all systems go on attacking the 13 colonies and destroying their armies up here near Fort Nashwak and storming south. So let's destroy this force here because frankly we haven't a hope. All of our reinforcements are on their way and uh, yeah things are gonna escalate quite significantly. We're gonna be invading most of the continent at, continent at once. So uh, yeah I think the I think the AI is not ready for what's about to happen but it does also mean that the end of this campaign is rapidly approaching. Still, let's not look too far ahead. We've got to get there first. Drop all the guns at the back. Spread them out a bit so they don't get too much friendly fire damage. Split the howitzers out. And then let's take all my infantry. All my 225 strong infantry. Form line. my grenadiers to be honest I'm going to put all of my cool units on the right flank grenadier plus jaeger plus native infantry to bring them together give them the bulk of the cavalry still got some heavy cavalry for the left flank Good old military just to shrapnel this colonial light unit. Oh Jesus. Yeah, that's tw 20 odd kills and then they got the musketry volley coming in. Well, they, they did make it to the combat. Bless them. So round shot, halt, fire at will, fire at will again. There we go, we counter charge with our heavies. That was enough. It's the my line. Uh, oh, the, uh, my, so the re, on the right flank they didn't make it quite as far. Because they had skirmishes to contend with. Let's just send in my cavalry. Because they are chiefly... Okay, yeah, they're, they're causing damage to themselves from trying to shoot at things behind the line. Smash it with my cavalry. The 14th light horse will not know what's hit him, although I am going to want to take you guys and pivot you up to make sure you don't start shooting into the combat. And my light infantry up the hill. Not quite right. How the reg that's colonial light. They're still holding on, but yeah, I've got my Hohen's all in there. So they are not gonna stick around for too long. Oops, sneezing coming. Apologies for that. Right. Unfortunately I've got one of my skirmishes in there. Run my cavalry on, run my skirmishes in against the Worcester Regiment. You men smash into that block of troops that's running away to try and get some shatters. Artillery engage the demi cannons at distance. 
So we've got the Worcester Regiment being attacked by native infantry. So yeah, your job is to get some shatters. Easier said than done. Because there's just so damn many of them, and there are stakes in the way, so you're going to go after the 12th now. Here comes the Mount Tribal Auxiliary. Native Bowman Auxiliary. I mean, well, there goes the rest of their line. Get my Grenadier Guards involved. Push forward across the board. Melee charges are acceptable now. So make sure you don't. You're going to have to go the long way around. That's the Mount Tribe Auxiliary coming in. My Grenadiers will make short work of them. Everyone else. Charge the enemy. Artillery ceasefire. Got a bayonet charge off. They don't even have bayonets, so they are not going to be viable for very long. Yeah, yeah, so the infantry has come back. Split up my artillery fire and let my fusiliers hold the line. Get into combat. You men charge on into this block. This Hessian line, colonial line, I mean, yep, they're already wavering. Poor devils. Fifth foot guards form up and begin engaging the enemy with musketry. Same with the 44th regiment. Cavalry pull back. Push the infantry up. All my artillery focus on the 39th. Can't even hit them with a round shot. So let's push my infantry up. You men charge the demi cannon crew. Everyone else just wait where you are. Nope, they've routed two. Nice. Unsurprising. Not a very strong force. Yeah, speed up time. Oh, hidden native Bowman Auxiliary. But still, speed up time. I mean, the Bowman aren't going to be for very long. Plenty of battles to be had. And that, with all, with all the stakes around, it kind of makes pursuing and destroying a bit trickier. So you're going to fall back along the peninsula. We're going to chase after you and destroy you. The new chaps can replenish and push back around. Rebuild the farm. You're going to go after. Actually, you're going to auto that. That small stack. I was concerned I would bring in um, the garrison army. And you attack Duncan Bottomley. So you're doing good, you're strong. 
And you're going to get attacked by the Huron at any moment. And <clears throat> you can push out and hit Brian Dare. Lots of militia, lots of regular infantry. Yeah, we've been dealing with a lot trickier foes than this, so I fear they will not uh, pose too much of a problem, and especially when our all of our armies appear over the horizon and we land an army against every single one of their cities. I think that will be a bit of a poser for them. Oh, this... This artillery position... Okay, I'm actually going to nestle the foot artillery a bit further back. Set my howitzers up, set the rocket troop up. I'm going to send most of my army to the right of this gully. But I'm going to send a detachment to secure the left flank. My general and some cavalry are going to lead up the centre. Yeah, it's a much more lean force out here on the flank, but my god, it's going to be capable. Make sure my felt Jaeger will fire at will. Off. A lot of militia killed there. Get my howitzers to engage the blocks of infantry. And yeah, the rocket troop doing a good job. So they're just not their general, but let's send my felt Jaeger after them just to cut them off. Okay, they're falling back. Keep the cavalry moving. Right, you guys. Okay, we've pushed back the dragoons. Right flank is going to advance to try and gain a more commanding position on the high ground. Cressier secure the very top. Is that how it's firing? How it's and rockets. Oh, excellent shot. The colonial lights are going to buy some time. Get my felt Jaeger up here first. Cursia, keep moving around. Okay, the right flank is going to advance. Cursia, get past the stake defence line. Yeah, go for the militia. Actually, or both of this cavalry units go for the militia. Oh god, the rockets have caused a, a rout. Okay, let's assume they don't stop routing for a while. <laughs> You men, destroy that militia unit. Send these two other infantry units forward to help cut off the left flank. Artillery commit. I mean, that's a precipitous route. Let my felt Jaeger slaughter the regiment. Okay, yeah, now they're starting to come back. You men charge the militia.
Force guards charge in. Okay, the rocketry is actually doing friendly fire now. But this is stupid. Shattered, 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 shattered. Okay, that militia unit's broken. Yeah, they're done for. Ooh, danger close quick line caused some damage. Still, could have could have slaughtered them, but don't need to worry about that. My units have got a decent amount of experience as it is. They've only got 410 men remaining anyway, which we can finish off. Yeah, look at that. Advance. You men are going to advance here. Because you are going to make the run towards Quebec. Because we cannot go by sea. Because all of these ships are in the way. They have a concentration of troops on Falmouth. But I fear to the south they're going to be very, very vulnerable. Because we are actually you. Jonas Frankfurter, you have been waiting an awfully long time. I'm going to take this sixth rate, put you here. So when the when the enemy attack, Mr. Frankfurter will attack St. Augustine. And what about New Spain? We're at peace with New Spain for now, but eventually we're going to, we're just going to have too many troops. Aggressive attacker for Wolfgang Tobelman. And he's a superior general. He's actually my best general in the Northern Theatre for now. Oh, well, okay, let's repair the mine. So, Fort Nashwag. 20 turns till Louisburg develops. These are more of my Gurkhas coming back. Interesting. Uh, oh, my, 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 yeah, we got reinforcements, but my army's just a bit delicate. Pull back. They really don't want me to attack. I could land an army here and just run past them. But this is the turn. We should get loads of fleet arrives. There they are. <laughs> I'm Adnagar. They're on strike. Not anymore, they're not. You want to bark. Get over to the Americas. New men embark, but to be honest, all, almost it was as many people as we can embark. Although we do have Gurkhas en route. So let's take a colonial line out of you. Swap it with a Gurkha. Okay, you guys all kind of just hunker down together. Just a second. Franz Lauter. There we go. So you can push up. You can lose a unit of engineers for a Gurkha. For a Gurkha unit. Amadnagar is trickier. One last, one, one, one more Gurkha unit. So you've got one. Embark. Go is rebuilding. Frederick Geyer, this Wenzel Sturm. Actually, you might stay here to act as a. Should someone invade us, I need someone here to actually stop it. You can successfully leave Hyderabad, so you're going to also get a Gurkha unit in due course. I mean, all these agents are just super not very useful. Chem in Karelia. The craft workshop. Let's get our building on. 
built these two ports of Karmatica. Steampunk mines we've built. I mean, it's just... We're making... A, we've made a lot of progress. We know the campaign is going to be over really soon. Because it's just not... It's not possible for the enemy to resist when we have just so much firepower. So, fleet arrive. <laughs> oh, that's so... So beautiful. So we're not at war with the Cherokee. You're going to land at Charleston. Let's take... Take this fifth rate. Okay, you man embarked. You're gonna land off of Florida. What ports do we have that we can raid? The territory is very undeveloped. Next fleet arrives. Okay, my okay. I'm not okay. Right, I think now is where I start to be have to be a little bit smart and say right. I'm not going to land one on every city because we do have some other potential uses of force. Do we have an actual fleet here with us somewhere? No, they're all all bebe ships. Very well. Just pick a random spot and raid it. But the idea is, I've got one here. So you guys can hold against the Cherokee. I've landed two here to push from the south. I've got three here, four here to push from the north. I think, fundamentally, I also declare on New Spain. They hate us anyway. Bring the Pueblo Nations in. I don't care. Hello. Land another army. Let's land you at Panama. Cut their empire in half. Just sail around them. You're not going to fight it yet. You're going to land here and push towards Guatemala. Can't get any further. So just let them raid. Drop one of you off here. And then you can head towards Bogota. Group my six together, because if this fleet's not... Eh, it's kind of strong. But if we group our... Group our infantry together, or our ships together, if they try and auto-resolve, kill us, they will be out for the count quicker than they like. Actually, you you have got range to go to Mexico. I sure as hell hope I've picked a good army to do that. No one in their capital. Okay, that's, that's two. Okay, that's two battles we can fight. I just want to make sure we've done all these. I'm sure we have, but there might be some in the north. Nope, they're all done. Recruitment report done. Trade routes raided. That's done. Okay, so let us take. Panama City from New Spain. Cut their army in two, prevent them from being able to 
move troops north and south, even though that's actually really quite tricky to do. In South America, it takes an awfully long time to go anywhere if you're not on roads. But yes, taking the city, this will be useful. They'll hold here until the south is mopped up. Or the, no or the north is mopped up, frankly. Uh, hmm. Okay, not much finesse in this on this one, in this battle either. Storm forward as quickly as possible and take the guns. Because they've got mortars. Make sure my felt Jaeger fire it will off. Cavalry. My general's part of the giant cavalry line. Just get up there. Get cavalry out wide. And you guys can't actually shoot at anything because the town is in the way. You're engaging that colonial militia unit. You got some hits. Where's there? The mortar crew is actually right at the back. Let's run my cavalry up. Might be able to loop some around to take them out. Infantry just charge. All of my men are capable in the bayonet charge. So I don't hit my cavalry blob. Yep, they're hitting us. Colonial militia. Fusiliers, you cover this street. So let's get my Lancer Guards around the back of this blob of men. Okay, massed musketry is clearing the enemy out. Let's redirect some artillery fire. And these men just line up behind the guns and just shoot them. These marines... Charge the militia block in the rear. The line of guards have to hold. Lead regiment hold them off. Something like this. Keep pushing the flank. How it's as round shot the tribal auxiliary. One unit of militia cracked. That unit of infantry is gone. The artillery is gone. Let's 
two units against one colonial militia. You men smack the seventh. I mean, the tribal auxiliary is not going to last very long. They're just getting shot to pieces. Warm up. You have to try to clear them out of the defences first, because there's, they're dotted around all over the place. That's why infantry assault is the most robust option. Liebgar Trabarton, storm in. I don't even have bayonets. I don't even plug the bayonets. There you go, regiment of line charging in. Took a lot of deaths in that charge. And they broke. So my life guard, deep guard, Barton. My general can go off the artillery. You men should be engaging the tribal auxiliary. And that is everyone routed, except for the... Let's just end it. Except for the artillery near the edge of the map, but they are not super important. Panama. Okay. Repair the city. Build walls. Upgrade the industry. Upgrade the roads. Eight turns to Puerto Bello is developed, which is... Is it you? It is you. Not the town, sadly. I mean, you, Sigismund, are going to take Mexico City. And that leaves under Lucia to the south as their last major city. But I fear, it, I fear the uh, Empire of New Spain does not have long to go. So as we secure the south, we're not going to run up the coast. I'm going to I'm going to leapfrog them, leapfrog them over the um, Caribbean. Artillery back here. Get ready to create two breaches. Not going to do anything clever. We're going in the front. You men knock a hole in the wall. How it says just shoot quick climate whoever they prefer. Doing a lot of damage. Actually, they're shooting our artillery, which isn't a bad decision for them. Can't aim at the centre, and to be honest, these guys aren't much of a reserve. Once the walls are breached, the city will be as good as ours. Do something like that. You men have to keep loading and firing, so you have to get in. Okay, we're killing a few of them as we bombard. We're going to kill a lot more of them once we've made our breach. Ooh, good hit. That is a good hit. Lots of kills. 200 militia dead. Yeah, once we make our breach, that's when we'll start the assault. I might retarget my... Oh, it is... Fifty-two percent. Yeah. There's always that period of will they get lucky enough with the artillery fire from the walls to knock out enough guns? Oh, that's a lot of dead men on the walls here. But yeah, sometimes the the walls can, if their initial salvos are quite lucky, they can gain a an artillery not necessarily advantage, but a uh, parity. So in the end, you start running out of guns pretty quick because a smaller number of your artillery pieces are, can actually go to work. Oh, that's a lot of armed citizenry killed. 
yeah, a lot of. Um, yeah, they don't. It's not really a problem exactly, but what you start to see is that you have a, a smaller number of guns that have to break down the wall. Then you end up seeing that the uh, you end up seeing that the enemy guns on the wall can actually now start to chip away at your artillery and stop you from making a breach at all. Of course, now it's raining. Um, citizenry standing by. Colonial militia standing by. The colonial line looks pretty good. So let's let the artillery keep engaging. Oh, almost annihilates an entire unit of militia. Pick again. Oh, yeah, what is tempting? Run cavalry. Just run them in. Okay, right. This this is a bit of a this is gonna cause a lot of death, so I admit it. But they don't have much here in the way of mass, so our units our cavalry will actually be able to swarm through the wall. They won't really be able to stop us. Get all my artillery to work on a second breach. So this is the important bit. We're swarming in. They do have units here. But you cannot let them stop. So one unit at a time. Draw them through. Keep drawing. Eventually you will get them through. Like I said, one unit at a time. I mean, we are slaughtering them, but it is armed citizenry, so it's a bit of a... Not futile gesture, but not really what we're after. But there we go, we're starting to make it happen. We get enough of our cavalry through that they no longer have that knee-jerk response to fighting in a breach. We can get them through and attack the mortars and potentially the colonial lights. They may get bogged down in subsequent cavalry engagements. And that's when I keep running more cavalry through, especially like my hussars, because they're going to get... These guys are going to get engaged by native warrior auxiliary. Get my hussars out here. So they've also managed to escape the breach. So there's another unit. Now this unit of line infantry. Run them through. So they can't stop us. Our units will comply with the move order, largely. They will just push through. That wall's nearly, nearly completed, or nearly destroyed. But yes, yeah, see? We can run men through and then say, right, now we want you guys, don't fight directly at the breach. You guys are going to help, help the cavalry that have broken through. Same with you. You are going to push through and not fight at the breach. You're going to push through and fight further up the hill. Fight, fight closer towards the centre. So you men engage the militia right there. You men engage the colonial light cavalry because they're attacking the head of my cuirassier and we're a bit vulnerable there. Bog them down with a bit more cavalry. Once we've got this breach, then you guys can storm in. And they're not going to be necessarily pivotal. But they will most surely help. Especially against the, the light cavalry, because they don't really... They are not the best at fighting bog down infantry, especially later game infantry. So you guys push right up the edge. 92%. You're, you're getting artillery fire from the walls. You're getting mortared from this unit. Just keep dragging them through. 
The wall is breached. Get in. The trick is to, if we can kill their cavalry, the head, the head of this entire formation collapses. Okay, my Jaeger, take positions in the armory. This Jaeger, take position in the command HQ. Charge forward into the into the mortars that have caused you so much pain. Some grenadiers over here. You're going after the native warrior auxiliary. I think these two units can cope with the colonial light cavalry because they are losing decisively. Four armed citizenry left. That's holding up all these men at the breach. Two. There you see, now they've actually broken through. They don't have to complete. Well, they don't want to complete their... Uh, chiefly their order. They're not, they're not going to stand there. They're going to keep running through. So look, now that's that's why most of the units did push through. Because they start to comply with their initial move order. You just knock out the rest of these folks. The rest of these, as soon as these mortar crews are dealt with, as soon as this tribal auxiliary is dealt with, kill the enemy general. He's at the guns, I would suspect. You might not have been. Kill the last of these gunners. Cities ours form. Form for parade. There's one unit over here, but I'm not very really bothered about one individual colonial light infantryman. Water crewman is gone. Yeah, it's just these units on the wall, so I'm going to speed up time and let them get picked off by my Jaeger, but fundamentally, uh, can you cross the air fall back? They're getting picked off by my skirmishes, but I have no interest in charging up there and taking them out. They can load and fire at their own time till their heart's content. Fundamentally, the city will be captured. Let's see how many brutes are wandering around the territory. None. Beautiful. Curious thing is to see, will the Pueblo nations invade this territory? Because we are at war. Let's upgrade everything, because Mexico hasn't even upgraded all their buildings yet. Big mistake. Huge. Especially farms. Mexico's got a few more towns left to develop. Like two turns immediately. Boom. Tampico. That's Monterey. Villamosa. Is Tampico a port? Yes, it is. Okie dokie. So we've deployed all our, all our armies. Everyone's getting ready to rock and roll. I mean, yeah, you can attack them if you like. You wouldn't know what's going to happen. He lost six ships to do it, though. I hope it was worthwhile. Bloop. He lost three more ships. <laughs> so force of 16 ships became four to destroy two of my ships. Oh, there we go. Now they're panicking. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. There is no peace. There can only be war. You're going to go after some ships? Blep. Ah. Kill two. Do what you like, New Spain. 
<lacht> Die Flotte ist verloren! Eh, don't worry. They weren't planning on sailing anywhere anyway. They've only got... Oh, they captured this. They had one ship left, but they captured mine. Bless him. The agents are on the move. Ah, you're going to go raid. Hey, they are going to invade. Well, I mean, they're, they're kind of out of luck because I'm going to recruit another army in Mexico now that we have. Although, actually, <laughs> we may have more ships. We do have more ships. Lots more. Now, oh, sheep destroyed, feet destroyed, feet destroyed, feet destroyed, feet destroyed, feet destroyed. Fleet arrives. Uh, hmm. So you're all... Fifth and sixth rates. I suppose just land of land of Florida. You maybe land in Mexico. You. Going. Yeah, you were going to Mexico. Oh no, actually, actually, no, you can keep on going. Can you land? Can you go all the way up to? You can. Right. Okay. Oh, so there must have been those enemy ships in the area that were stopping us from going the full distance. But once we scooted around those, are we section there? That's a lie. You're gonna have to drop off here. And then you. You're gonna land off in of Florida as well. It's because you're gonna. I mean, I'm gonna have to follow to resolve that then. I'm not really bothered about making sure I win that action. Jonas Frankfurter. Create the infrastructure. So what are the odds that the Louisiana declares war on me almost instantly? Cotton and tobacco. Tobacco is the thing. We're trading eighty-eight thousand a turn with with uh, <laughs> trip with uh, uh, Mexico, but I don't think it's going to matter. We've done all the fleet arrives. Apart from you. Okay, let's make you go all the way over to the Northwest Territories. You shouldn't, asterisk, get caught out. Can't recruit any extra troops here, so the Huron are a well, ultimately, if I take York Factory, then it's just fighting the four salts and Marie, which is not a problem. Get some top tier religious buildings in India. Okay, tea plantations, top tier across the board. Engineer school, which you can't upgrade anyway. So, doesn't really matter actually. Let's take one of your infantry units, swap them for a Gurkha. Oops, wrong. Okay, in. There we go, on transporting to the Americas. Newman combine. Newman combine. There's a Gurkha unit. Make sure we recruit everyone we can. 
The Cherokee may immediately declare war on us, which if they do, that's their prerogative. You continue to drive towards Antigua. You just recruit a bucket of line infantry. So they've immediately put Villa de Barrar at, at threat, so now you have to make a choice on where you want to go. You siege Charleston for now. Do we fight for the city or do we fight for the fight for the fight the battle first, then push them back? I think the smart thing to do is that, but let's first of all, let's siege you. Because then you can engage Elga Ling El Elgar Lincoln without this force here getting involved. God damn it, Elgar. But yeah, the, <laughs> the 13 colonies are throwing in bodies to try to stop us, but unlike the Mughals, the bodies they're throwing in just aren't individually very capable. So when they're just throwing in chaff, it's a lot easier to throw them back than if they were throwing in actual uh, decent units. Anyway, let's get back into the action. Slaughter a load more colonists. And then swap them with our colonists. Okay, this time I might. Let's chill out a bit. Let's take... Split our firepower... Deploy our artillery. There we go. No, actually, it's not so great. Hello. Let's put one gun unit back here. means our flanking division well not our flanking divisions well, yeah so all the flanking positions next to our artillery can actually be a bit stronger grenadier guards on each flank what's not to like let's actually bring the edges in a little bit I'll keep my cavalry at the back in case we get screwed over and attacked in the rear because that does happen Artillery fire at will. You might deploy a third unit over here. I keep you guys in the reserve. While my foot artillery is engaging these sakers to the rear. I mean, these guys have bayonets. Socket bayonets, at least. Yep, yeah, they've started the firing. Going after my cavalry, so Let's spread them out. Just to immediately reduce the effectiveness. I mean, the gun on the hill can keep engaging. Everyone else we'll get ready to fire a shrapnel shot. Let's take your CA unit over onto the flank. Well, as soon as they're within range, engage them with shrapnel or shot. Same with you. They're under fire, but they're in mostly under cover. Square. Okay, actually, you. Eh. No, just focus on the militia with shrapnel shot, really. 
Good hits, good hits. Picking off some of the light horse. Let's see where their reinforcements come in from. Oh, two good hits. Shaking, she lost 40 men in a matter of seconds. Gunnery on the hill is still engaging. You're engaging the correct unit, you're just not really getting the hits. Here comes the Colonial Light, charging back in. Sabres held high. Uh, what's that? The fellows are in square! Foolish, my friend. Actually, yeah, so let's make my howitzers engage in quick climb on the flank because these guns have got a good view of that Hessian line infantry unit with a shrapnel shot. Yep, there goes there. There goes the cavalry. Shift your fire onto the 34th because these guys are going to be within musket range imminently. We may shift them up a little bit. They don't necessarily fire into the bluff quite so easily. Here they come. My men, re my men reload. They can advance in the cover of the hill. Bring my grenadiers a bit further over. Canister shot. Bring you guys up. Okay, so the reinforcements are coming in over on the left, so let's deploy a chunk of our cavalry over here. Gunners fire canister shot. Push out my heavy cavalry. Because now the battle lines have been met. Oh, it says just keep dropping. Quick climb onto them an enemy route. Crassier, go for the 5th Regiment. So you just negotiate your way past the 5th Regiment of Bavarian Line Infantry. Yeah, here comes the cavalry. Second light horse. Oh yeah, that's a chase down the first regiment of foot to make sure they fall. How it has engaged the infantry. Ah, oh, it's not a great position for you. Form square. Grenade guards will push back Colonial Light Cav, no worries. So you men smack the third the 28th before they get too many shots off at you. Because they're coming in on the right, we can push up on coming in on the left, we can push up on the right. my guns go back to engaging actually go engage their dragoons right at the back shattered shattered only broken
begin the counter advance. Oh, hey, Colonial Light. Get him. Ceasefire, limber out my artillery. If you can break the seventh, that would be perfect. I'm trying to buy time. I want my infantry up here to surround the point at which the 13 colonies enter the field. I mean, the gunners would be best place to go here. The enemy force is just in full retreat. My cavalry is going to stay here and engage everyone they can. Actually, my Val Dragoons, as you know, keep engaging them. Don't go for the artillery yet. Let my infantry get closer. Then once they get a bit closer, we can start to ratchet this in and increase the danger. Colonial Dragoons have come back. They're a, not a massive danger. I know you men are tired. Some of them will be even more tired because they've come even longer. But this will be worthwhile, even if it does destroy my cavalry force. That's it, heavy cavalry. Chase them back. Starting to realise what's happening. Well, they're aiming at the 6th Regiment of Line. They withdraw the cavalry. Push forward. obviously nowhere in position as soon as my infantry start I mean they start just pouring fire onto them it's going to be game over the sakers are broken you're going to be break because of the what's just happened to you But yeah, here we go. This is how it begins. My artillery I could could probably deploy a bit further away and still make it, but frankly, artillery is not going to be critical. Looks like we're going to be engaging them from so many different directions simultaneously. So ideally, I'd have you guys up here in position, but you were walking for a good part of your run. Let's make sure my cavalry are up here. Yeah, routing, wavering, breaking. Not even get enough. Not even going to get a lot of kills, but see, they're native troops, and I think you're right. Let's go kill them. Wait a minute. What are all those guys doing? Yeah, the 19th may be 
enticing. There's a bunch of cavalry here that says, no, that's a bad idea. Bayonet charges? I heard bayonet charges. It's breaking and running. You guys. Indeed, if we can knock out the, the tribal auxiliary, we can knock out the infantry as well. But it looks like they are positioning to shoot into the combat. So we can ignore them. Come on, you guys, load and fire again. It's that time. Oh, you men fire at will. Sorry, 39th, I was hamstringing your progress. Your potential. Send the Grenadiers in to knock out that last gunner. Kill the 69. Kill them all! Smash, 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 but yeah, the artillery of they've run to. That's quite a conclusive victory if I do say so myself. Decisive victory, that's always the word you want to see. So what have we done? We have slaughtered 13 colonies, sent them scuttling back to Boston. We have gained ground. You can push up to the Quebec border. Then we can attack the city of Falmouth with no reinforcement. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for some more 13 Colonies Carnage. Cheers everyone.